And following the short liquidations on Friday, Bitcoin took a bullish leap forward and drove the altcoins market to a strong end of the week. Amidst the growing concern of the highly anticipated bullish catalyst, the spot ETF approvals, turning an event to sell, the markets are turning more volatile. In uh, with the tensions resurfacing in the SEC and Binance feud, the grayscale uh, Bitcoin ETF AUM dropping below 20 billion, the IDIT reaching the $2 billion mark, and many other updates, the market is ready for sharp moves. That's all very sure to know that daily rain a very offening. Mini Mata test. Uh, turning the bearish start of this week to well above the 40k barrier, Bitcoin is prepping a strong closing move this week, refreshing the sentiments of the market. The fourth hopes of Bitcoin ETFs turning mainstream are back on track, and you result in new opportunities in coming turns. With traders hoping for a slightly bullish end to January, the brawl over trend control grows intense as the ongoing recovery gains momentum, and that's it was a, a C in condition. Uh, it was a journey needed team, and that's also, that's see, see the biggest single data and model uh, inside of the legislator 1567. But um, with the growing inflow in the smaller Bitcoin spot ETFs, iShares Bitcoin Trust by BlackRock becomes the first to reach over $2 billion. Um, AUM, um, with almost 50,000 BTC, it is the second biggest Bitcoin ETF as per assets. Um, but uh, ARK Invest purchases 62.3 million in ARK 21 shares Bitcoin ETF, and ARK W's portfolio now includes 91.4 million dollars in ARK B, making up 5.98 percent of the fund's total value. And UK Supreme Court denies Craig Wright's appeal. A July decision by judges awarded Wright only one GBP in a defamation case against Bitcoin podcaster Peter McCormick. And if you talk about few training further, it was first term. That chance is a concern that does intensify that super straight and made Red Sea crisis impact on shipping. Uh, uh, the disruption of shipping through the Red Sea Suez Canal is likely to increase prices, uh, posing challenges for Bitcoin enthusiasts. Uh, uh, Donald Trump expresses firm opposition to CBDCs. In, in the U.S. at a New Hampshire rally, Donald Trump confirmed his stance against central bank digital currencies, vowing to prevent their establishment in America. Uh, Coinbase receives outperform rating upgrade from Oppenheimer. Uh, and Coinbase's stock saw a 6% increase following Oppenheimer's upgrade from perform to outperform, setting a target of $160 per share. Uh, Avalanche Foundation sets criteria for mean coin acquisitions, and the Avalanche Foundation will only consider mean coins from its own blockchain as per their latest policy. Yeah, let's take a look at him and moving in. Um, NBC, which uh, this past week in the blockchain market has been nothing short of dynamic. Amid this uncertainty, the OMAX took the lead with an explosive 521% growth. Hot on its heels, Stafi more than doubled its value with a 116% increase. Polkadot also enjoyed a notable ascent, gaining 78%, while Chroma and Carbon made solid advances with 35%, 32% growth, respectively. And in the last seven days, the performance of the top five blockchains as per total value locked gives a mixed result. With the top blockchain, Ethereum, with the TBL dollar, and $21 billion, 31 finger, 7.99 bets. Dropping by 3.299%, the dominant sentiment of this week has been bearish. Uh, there's an Arbitrum and Tron being the lesser performers, dropped by 1.67% and 0.677%, making three out of the top five blockchains by TVL bearish this week, uh, keeping the bullish spirit alive. Binance Smart Chain and Solana reached 3601 bounds and 1.393 bounds for a 3.59% and 2.27% return this week. And as of the latest update, Bitcoin maintains its lead with a price of $41,795.77 and a market cap dominance of 50.78%, despite a modest 0.62% increase. Ethereum follows with a significant 7.74% jump to a price of 2272 
BND sits at $303.80 and Cardano have prices of $0.53 cents and $0.48 cents, with weekly changes of 3.39% and 5.58% respectively. Uh, Avalanche, Dogecoin, Tron, and Polkadot show smaller movements uh, with Polkadot at $6.68 experiencing a 2.23 percent rise of a whole number of different uh, options the building this year so we've got to talk into the time you got to talk and market about uh, but it's it's similar to make a merch if you reach the building in your schedule uh, these kind of points Manta network which is trading at 364 uh, and has given a 57.91 uh, percent return in the past seven days. The second and third best performers are the SUI and the Helium token trading at $1.43 and 819 respectively. The tokens have outperformed the general top 100 altcoins and have given a 29.54 percent and 27.05 percent return in the past seven days. Uh, similar to the bullish side, the multiple tokens have failed to perform in this week these tokens are Audi, which is a BRC20 token, which is currently trading at 57.03%. The altcoin has dropped by 15%. In the past seven days, following this BRC20 token, it's fallen by 9.98%. So that's been 9.5 miles more. And what's scared? Uh, this week, you know, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, leads the pack of Bitcoin ETFs group, which was recently approved by the SEC. Uh, the GBTC has an asset under management of almost $19.99 billion, uh, which has dropped down from the peak of $30 billion worth of Bitcoin. Uh, secondly, the iBit, i.e. iShares Bitcoin Trust by BlackRock, leads the rising pack and shows a positive inflow and has finally reached the $2 billion mark of assets under management which is approximately almost 50,000 uh, bitcoins under management. Uh, further, we are seeing uh, a rising number of investments in Fidelity, which is the third biggest, um, and the fourth is the ARK Invest Bitcoin ETF. Overall, the complete assets under management by all the Bitcoin ETFs is 25,319,000,000, and the volumes are finally slowing down the outflow in the GBTC. Meanwhile, the rising inflows in the other ETFs showcase a healthy recovery in positive numbers. And a one go on $17 million and five, this goes added to not something really seasoned for a single number of avenue. And then there's a seasoned study of the, the DeFi market this week is seeing some significant changes. RB Chains categorized under yield has a total value locked of just $0.6 it has witnessed a staggering seven-day change of plus 24432%. The arena in the SoFi cover shows a TVO of 80441 with a weekly surge of plus 189713%, seeing an enormous plus 62,795% change, despite a 1.38% dip in the last day. Uh, struck finance with a TVO of $2.79 million and a plus 11,005% change over the week. Zudow rounds out the list with a TVL of $289,630 operating on two chains. It's up plus 3,133%. Uh, the ranking of top NFT aggregators shows Blur leading on the Ethereum network with a volume of $6.68 million despite a 30.08% drop followed by OpenSea Pro with a volume of $2.19 million. X2Y2, Element, and Magic Eden on Polydon follow with volumes of 98.73K, $59, and 4K, and 56.69K, respectively. While Blur, X2Y2, and Element saw a decrease in volume, Magic Eden's volume grew by 25.95%. Sales and trader numbers generally increased across all platforms, with the average NFT send Abenu price ranging from $18.25 to $610, and adjusting it as we've served to $0.28. Uh, over the past week, the NFT landscape has seen notable sales activity among its leading collectibles, 
Ethereum name service topped the charts trading $442,106, crossed 12,545 sales, waddled into second place with an impressive volume of $5,727,788.11 from 1,049 sales. Deedles ranked third with 287,960,20 C in volume. Uh, cool cats in our blocks are listed next with volumes of 1.285 million, 764,65 and 1.405 and sales figures of 743 and 518 respectively. Uh, to the outdone board ape yacht club sailed into sixth with a volume of 5,821,032245 cents from 407 sales. Rounding out a vibrant week in the NFT market.